Who you gonna call, nerds? It's Ghostbusters on Saturday morning! Welcome to Spooky Sauce, where we play retro slash spooky games. Um, we're gonna do this like every Saturday morning, so if that's the sort of thing you wanna see, you know, click the subscribe button right down there, and uh, all your dreams will come true. You know, probably. Anyway, back in the day, getting up on Saturday morning was freaking awesome because I could watch the real Ghostbusters. I mean, the show was visually dynamic, you got to see your heroes, and man, they battled some pretty creepy stuff, man. I mean, seriously, some of those episodes were legit spooky. And also, sometimes my mom would make pancakes, so then I would have, like, a stack of pancakes and the real Ghostbusters. Man, it was awesome. So there have been like a lot of Ghostbusters games, but in 2009, they got the entire cast back together. They literally got the band back together. That's awesome. And unfortunately, it was also for the last time possible. And uh, because we lost Harold Ramis. So because of his death, you know, it was basically gonna be impossible to ever get them all back together for a movie. So this game is basically the unofficial third movie. And uh, I have to say, man, it's legit. So, strap on your proton pack and grab some Twinkies for Ghostbusters the video game! As opposed to magenta pictures. Are you troubled by strange noises in the night? Okay, I won't make any more references to the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Have you Promise. or your family actually seen a Of course, that movie is like its own kind of spooky. If the answer is yes, then don't wait another minute. Just pick up Catchy the tunes, call though. the professionals. Call the Ghostbusters. We're, We're ready, ready to, to believe, believe you. you. Franchises available soon. Call for details. Whoa! Russell, hey man, you hear the East Wing? Yep. But by the new ghost story, Okay, what is it about, like, security guards that are always, like, walking around with a flashlight? Are they just, like, too cheap to, like, turn the lights on? I'm gonna take a look. Seriously, if you're like a security guard, leave a comment down there, man. Is this something you guys normally do? I don't get it. Hey, it's Riff's mom! Dang it, I did it again! Sorry. Uh, why don't we talk about it some other time? Alright, no more Rocky. Any other time. Hey, you can't be in here. Stop! Hey, it's gonna make uh, New York minty fresh. Okay, I can't like stress this enough. Just how awesome it is that everybody's here. The original cast. Yeah, that's awesome. It's the new cadet. Welcome aboard. This might be a little dangerous. We'll start at 50% capacity. That should keep any burning or tissue damage to a minimum. Hey, if you're gonna burn any tissue, it's also cool to, to see everybody kid. young, you can't even though they're late. like, wait a minute, is that me? I guess is that what I would look like if I were a human? What's your name again, kid? No name, man. Me. I don't want to get too attached I'm like to this. Goofy kid. looking. You know, just in case. <laughs> you remember what happened to the last guy? Was that us? I don't think so. Ray? Had to be some sort of psi energy pulse. Substantial. A significant collected and centralized necromatic convulsion level 7 or more. Okay, I have to like learn how to like just keep talking and just like just spout out and crap. Answer, but I'm gonna ask anyway. Is a level 7 hey, uh, Janine whatever, like totally updated her look. Bad or I think I like very it. Very bad. I don't know, do you think she'd like, you know, go out with me or anything? It's a 7. Let's just say we're about to get real busy. I could be down with that. And that is not the fun kind of getting busy. Is it, Rick? Look out! Slimer's escaped again! No, wait, come back. Man, I want to try out that pole. There it is. It seems oddly drawn to the containment grid. He probably thinks it's like a bridge. Containment oh, unit? That's some highly sensitive equipment you're disintegrating there, kid. Oops, you let one out? Okay, let's go get him then. 
Okay. There's like a few things that are like as unique and iconic as a Proton Pack. I mean, the thing's awesome. I mean, it's just mesmerizing to look at, you know what I mean? Oh, man. There's probably a few of you out there that, you know, really buy into the whole psychedelic part of it. Like, all oh, Kubrick -y. Oh, man, Ghostbusters directed by Stanley Kubrick? How messed up would that have been? Oh, man, I don't know. Well? Man, I don't know, man. I think that would have been, like, like fun and, like, creepy on a whole other level. And there! Oh, yes! One escapee accounted for. Oh, and always remember to retrieve your trap. Did you get them? Ah, uh, we're batting 500. Slimer slipped out. Our cadet bagged his first one, though. A very nasty customer. Okay, seriously, oh, this I has some of the be best writing for dialogue in, in any game world. I've ever played. Don't do it. Seriously. Where to, Ray? The Sedgwick Hotel. It's it helps that, you know, that it's go. the original guys, and they're... They're doing the dialogue themselves, man. This is amazing. You know what? This really is a nice hotel. That disgusting green blob I mean, is up on the twelfth floor again, reeking. You know what? If I were Slimer, I would totally come back here too. I mean, this is like a swank pad. I mean, if you had to hang out somewhere, this is a place to do it, man. Right, invoices. You'll see that your warranty on rehaunting expired some time ago. You should have taken the extended service agreement. So, supposedly, Slimer is based on John Belushi, we wear him out. but, uh, yeah, we more specifically, That's what your proton the gluttony for. of John Belushi, so it's really like the ghost of the gluttony of John Belushi. Come on, let's but seriously, go. everybody that they encounter in this yeah, game, like all I've the ghosts, he's the coolest. I mean, if you were gonna come back as a ghost, Slimer is the way to go, man. You just, like, hang out at the Swank Hotel and just start, you know, okay. chowing down on everything. Hey, by the way, these Ecto Goggles are really awesome. I mean, I don't know how they work on ghosts, but I can totally sort of see like nerds every time I go into my local GameStop. He's been slimed. Oh, slimed? Again. Hustle over here and help him up, will you? Okay, was this Slimer or was he really like on an episode of like Double Dare? You guys need to get down here. We should contact Mark Summers. Experiment is tearing apart the lobby, and he's not alone. Call the elevator, Junior. Never mind the onion head for now. Oh, wow. So these are like angry bellhops. So I guess they're like mad because people didn't tip them. Okay, that begs a question though. Like, where would you haunt? You know, if you uh, if you died, had to come back and haunt something. You know, leave a comment below. I want to know where you would like to haunt. Me. Uh, you know, I'd probably haunt, like, a Five Guys, because, you know, they used to give me an extra scoop of fries into my bag, you know, before takeout, and then they stopped doing it, so I'd haunt that place. I'd, I'd probably just sit around and be irritated, you know, I'd like, like that board where they say where the potatoes came from today, I'd probably just, like, erase, like, Preston, Idaho, and then write in, like, your mom's house. So Slimer's like interrupting the uh, Rodriguez bar mitzvah. That sounds like a uh, like a Mexican Jewish cultural festival. I'm down with that. You're almost there. Get like a matzo burrito. I'm like totally nerding out, by the way, because like it's super awesome to be like in these locations from the original movie. It's cool. Wait a minute. What if Slimer is actually the ghost of Mark Summers? See? That's a big wow. Oh. Teach that pitiful goop sack. He's not dead. B. Vigman. Never mind. By extension, you. Hands up. Whoa. Who's this guy? Whoa. Where did he come from? I suppose we should go after him, unless you want to discuss it first. Uh. Whoa. Man. You know, the seas with Nemo and friends just got really dark. Hey, is there a 
bathtub overflowing up there? More specifically, a 7,000 cubic meter bathtub filled with protonically charged seawater. And, um, sea cucumbers? Ray, did you tell her crew about semi dimensional Ergotals. entities? This type of highly agitated environment is a likely manifestation point. Ah! Whoa! Oh man! Those are like skunk spiders! Okay, man, I have to say, this is legit free. Like, inanimate objects becoming, like, like, spiders. I mean, that's like a double down, man. I don't like spiders. Oh, uh, see, this is what I love about this game, right? You know, it's not, like, cartoony at all, man. It's, it's creepy. You know, it, it feels the most like the first movie. The second movie was kind of cartoony. But this one... This one's spooky. Okay, so we have this angry fisherman, right? But shouldn't it be like haunting like a fishing boat or a wharf or something? Like, a, I, don't, I don't know why is it a seafood place. I don't get that. Good work. Are you all right? Nice going. You might really be the right person for this job. Whoa! Hey, gun? Ray? Uh... Okay, so... Oh, holy crap! Alright, so this is like a really angry oven. It's like evil. Okay, look, I'm just saying this. If all y'all are paying attention, this is what happens when you put pineapple on a pizza. Alright? Yank it out of there. Wrangle it out. You know, wouldn't it be awesome if, like, New York was really this haunted? Like, you go out for dinner, and then, like, your your waiter has to explain why there's scorch marks on the walls, and he has to then go on to explain, like, yeah, we had a ghost, and they had to catch it, so, you know. Sorry that things are still smoldering, but we're ghost-free. Man, that'd be awesome. When knives and forks become a big angry giant, that's really me not liking it. A lot. Happens every day, right? All right. So, if you guys want to, like, you know, watch me play the rest of Ghostbusters the video game, let me know down in the comments below. That'd be awesome. And if you want to see me every Saturday morning, hit the subscribe button. That'd be awesome. Also, if you like the video, you know, like it, hit the button. It'll make me feel good. It'll make you feel good, too, for making me feel good. So it's like this whole symbiotic thing. Come on. All right, so, I'll see you nerds next Saturday. Later.